Here is my six step strategy to planning coding projects to ensure not only that I can complete them, but also that people use them because it's important that people use them. Step one, always ask yourself, what is the user's pain point, specifically the user's pain point. For this example, my target user is a developer looking for a job. And if you want to get hired, you need to write hundreds of tailored cover letters and resumes. Don't build a dream, solve a problem. Now that you have your pain point, how do you solve it uniquely? In this case, I created a software where a user just has to post in a job posting and then they can scroll down, generate a tailored cover letter based off of their resume. And they can also generate a tailored resume. So it's super specific to this job posting. Question number two, what do you need to build at wire.sh? I knew I wanted a full stack application. It was going to need user authentication and database features to store all of the user data. I also wanted it to be a multi-page application. And lastly, I needed an API so that I could interact with an AI to write the cover letters and resumes. Now that you've figured out the required infrastructure, question number three is what are you actually going to build it with? For this particular app because I wanted to build everything in one framework. I chose Next.js. Next.js allows me to have both a front end and API endpoints that can interact directly with the AI. In addition to being an amazing companion for a Firebase backend. Question number four, if it's a website, what pages are you going to have? For Hire.sh, the answer is so many. I obviously need a dashboard to manage all the user data. We have all of the different job applications that a user can go to, not to mention allowing them to go to their account to manage their settings. We also wanted to have a blog. So I needed pages specifically for that, which also benefits the search engine optimization of the site. So now we know what the project requires. What folder and file system are we going to use to develop it? For Hire.sh, I don't even know where to start at this point. There are so many files and folders, but pretty much up the top, we have all of the pages, paths, and routes for the application. One thing I really like to do if we come down to my components folder is compartmentalize my application. So you can see all the different building blocks that have come together to create hire.sh. Then we have the posts. We've got a context for our authentication. We've got all the public assets. We've got utility functions and handlers, and then we've got the Firebase config. And finally, the very last question, how's the flow going? It's easy to convert a user from the first page to the second. Is the information effectively structured? And that is my six step strategy to planning coding projects so that I can execute them to the absolute moon.